a very hard fought draw. Uh, what were your overall thoughts on the game? It was okay. Good to bounce back from last game. So uh, keeping a clean sheet, and that was the main focus today. Uh, now we just need to get some goals in, and then everybody happy. As you mentioned, the, the last thing that sort of comes together for the team that they do is the goal scoring. What do you guys need to do to be able to create more chances and finish the game? Yes. It's gonna come. We need to start just back to basics, basically. Uh, like I said, defensively start there and then work ourselves off the pitch. Uh, it's going to come eventually, you just need to fall for us one time and then it's going to come. The nil-nil result leaves all to play for now in Monterey. What was the feeling like after this result, uh, knowing that now everything is, is still available and the potential is still there for you guys? I mean, the away goal is like counts double, so it's good that it was like that we kept them 0-0. Like, like I said, the main focus was that. and. Now it's uh, full focus on next game in the league, and, and then of course we go there and we're going to beat them. Speaking of defense, the, you played with uh, David for another game. How has the relationship been building for you on that uh, right side of him? Great player, great person. Uh, lived in Norway, so we can talk a little bit about that. He lived, lived both there, so. But he's a great guy and, and, and a great footballer, so it's, it's been good and it's gone, happened really quickly. After three games against Tigres, you have drawn them all three times. Is there a confidence going to Monterey that you're so close to, to getting that result that you want, or is it, is it starting to get a little bit in, in your mind that you're just like, oh, you know? um, We're every game, of course. Like I say, we we go and, and we're gonna we're gonna win that game. That's the mindset, and it's the mindset we should go into every game. Uh, we're going to go to Mexico and we're going to try to win. The last two games against Tigres, they dominated the, the game. This one was more uh, chances from you guys to create it. What was different between this Orlando City compared to the last uh, two times that you guys faced Tigres? I'd say confidence, maybe. Uh, like, for me, I feel like American teams are getting closer and closer to, to South American teams. And, and for me, like, we should look at us and them, and we should think about us, that we are better than them. So I feel like sometimes we respect the opponent too much. So now we go to Mexico and, and we look at us as the bigger team and, and as the better team. When you mentioned the South American team, do you, are, you, are you happy? Are you guys were uh, like happy that it was like, ten, uh, like close to 10,000 people supporting you? Were you guys expecting more fans to come to play at home? Uh, I don't know. It's it's a hard. It's it's a Wednesday. People are working, and and I don't know how it is in America, but it's maybe a little bit different. But of course, we want to see more people. It would be nice, but but uh, you, <laughs> I don't know. It's it's a Wednesday night, so maybe it's a little bit hard for people with families and stuff like that. So it's understandable. But but if they can come, it's it would be amazing. Now we've seen you push up a little more than we did last season. Is that you more? Finding space and taking initiative, or is that something that's planned by coaching staff? Uh, it was, like I said, last game it was, it was a little bit vulnerable. Like I was pushing up too much, and that's on me a little bit because we were too eager and I was too eager, and, and there was a lot of space. So now it's more built from the back, start from the back, and then I work myself up when I can. But it's, of course, that's the plan. But but you have to depend on the game. Depends on the game. Thank you. Thank you. Thank you.